Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's Timeless Tarot message that I recorded on June 2nd, 2023, I have the fire sign specifically in mind. So if you're the Aries, the Sagittarius, and the Leo, fire signs, this message is for you. And what I'll be using today for the reading is the Tarot of the Curious Creatures by Chris Han. Absolutely love this deck. And as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my deck offline and off camera. And now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. My fire signs, timeless tarot message for this day. What do they need to know? What do they need to know whenever they find this and apply it to their life? What resonates? Fire signs, spirit, spirit, spirit. Fire signs, what do we need to know? Universe, let us know. Most important message for those fire signs. Ooh, and there it goes. All right. Ooh, what a beautiful card. I absolutely love this card. The Queen of Swords. Look at that. It appears to be a feminine figure, human figure with a owl head, okay? And uh, what a fantastic way that Chris Ann really puts these cards together. I just love the creativity here. And uh, the Queen of Swords, look at that, absolutely love it. So we're going to get right into the booklet message. And as I always do in every single video, and if you are a return watcher, you know that I do this because I mention it oftentimes over and over because I do really want to give credit where it is due and honor these individuals that have spent you know, so much of their time, not only creating these fantastic images and cards that we hold and look at and use in our readings, but also the words and the message and the perspective that Chris Ann wanted to get across to us when creating this booklet. So I do that. Uh, I honor her by reading it, okay? And as you know, if you're a return watcher, I'm always sprinkling in comments and intuitive downloads and the like as they are coming to me. So take what resonates and leave the rest, you intelligent human beings, you. Okay, so the overall energy of this card is, for my fire signs, a skilled communicator, clear perception, a witty and intelligent mind, being calm and cool and collected, unbiased decision-making, Truth, honesty, knowledge, and integrity. You know, Fire Signs, this is just a fantastic energy coming off of this card and what it represents from this booklet message that this is something not only for you, Fire Signs, but as a collective, you know, all signs, we can learn something from those attributes, okay? And trying to adopt more of that perspective in our life, um, certainly when it comes to fairness, okay? She guides her people with a profound intellect and a calming tone that makes her a joy to listen to. She is an incredibly skilled communicator, connecting with others and sharing her counsel with clarity and grace. Okay. Do you know somebody like this or are you somebody like this? This could be you. Okay. She inspires level-headed and authentic conversation without the gossip and speculation that would cloud the meaning of her words. And um, I'm immediately getting off of the word gossip, a, a, work, um, a work environment. So if you're here today and you have a, you're involved in a work situation that is highly gossipy and it's always he, sh he said, she said type of business happening, you're being invited to step away from that, okay? And that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to step away from the job, per se. Um, you can cert, especially if you love the job that you do, you can certainly stay within the same job, but approach things that you've been doing or participating in, such as gossip, in another way to only improve your situation, okay? So you're being asked to not involve yourself with the gossip that's happening in the workplace and by the water cooler as they say or right and really put your head down and focus on why you're there what work needs to be done because it is wasted time and energy not only in a work environment when we you know spend a lot of our time sitting around and gossiping instead of doing the work but also 
in our own mental and emotional environment, okay, can be highly affected, you know, by judging others and being in that judgment mindset. So you're being asked today to try to step away from whatever situation or circumstance you have at work that involves a lot of gossip, all right, and throwing people under the bus specifically. Okay, let's see here. She inspires level-headed and authentic conversation without the gossip and speculation that would cloud the meaning of her words. Instead, she wields truth and logic to her advantage and glides above the rest of the fluff with grace. And that's it too, everyone, fire sign specifically. Rise above it, okay? You do not have to participate in gossip at all. Be that, you know, Rise above it. Be that higher person and decide to step away from that and not engage in that, okay? All right. And see the truth and the logic in the situation, okay? What what are just, you know, gossip related to what people's feelings are versus the truth and what actually happened? Focus on what actually happened, not if somebody's you know upset because it didn't go the certain way or their feelings got hurt look at the full picture okay and especially focus on the facts but don't be fooled the smarty pants queen pairs a fast wit with a cool demeanor and then and she knows how to quiet others with a flick of her tongue when her feathers are ruffled she shows up in your spread to remind you to choose rational unbiased facts over emotional observation and to calmly and coolly consider the words you use when you share your thoughts with others okay and, and that's a really important detail there when you're sharing with your thoughts with others is really sticking to the facts because we all know that people can use our words against us, can't they? Okay, and time and time again, this happens in the workplace specifically. So if you don't wanna find yourself in a sticky situation involving he said, she said, and emails, with, you know, people will share with each other that maybe shouldn't have been shared, but it's included in the gossip chain, I would encourage you not to participate in that. Not only does that harm you, um, like I said, emotionally and mentally, but this could actually have, you know, a drawback on your career. And um, this could actually harm you if the word, you know, gets to the higher ups and the management and your supervisors and that, you know, it's not a good look, all right? So I would encourage you to step away from that kind of thing. Focus on the facts and not, uh, you know, what these other people are, are saying because of they're emotionally reacting, all right? Too sharp and they will cut both receiver and the wielder, but too gentle or lofty and the message may not be understood. Speak honestly and confidently and always lead with your truth. So if you're leading with the facts and the information that hold true regardless of the situation, that should bring you confidence because you're only bringing forward actual facts in the situation and it has nothing to do with emotions. So when you come with that information from that perspective, you can remain in, in a confident state, okay? Because you're doing the right thing and you're approaching the situation correctly as how spirit would be advising you to do so, fire signs. Owl conversations. So again, as I always mention too, if you're seeing owls in your life, you have a pet owl, um, owl, you hear, you know, you go outside and, and um, you're hearing that hoot hoot sound of the owl time and time again, there could be additional messages for you with that reoccurrence of the owl in your life. So pay attention to that and go out and, and do your research on where that could apply. Um, there's so many wonderful resources, so many wonderful, dedicated, intelligent individuals that, you know, spend their whole lives researching and, um, you know, writing up information and materials that have to do with all these different aspects that I mentioned, color energy, numerology energy, 
and meaning, synchronicities and signs, repeating numbers in your life, repeating animals, animal energy, music, solfeggios, all of those things, anything repeating in our life holds extreme meaning for us. And I'm here to, you know, empower you to realize that that is not only happening in your life, but that you are completely capable of looking for those answers based on what you are seeing repeating in your life and applying wherever it resonates. Okay. And using your intuition to check in with yourself on those owl conversations. What type of communicator are you? Are you assertive and open or passive and held back? Do you pay attention to words and to body language? Do you listen more than you speak? Are you thinking about proving your point when you open your mouth or do you think about the other person's perspective? All right. And that really goes hand in hand with you know, some, when we're having conversations with people, sometimes we just listen enough in order to make a response or a reply when in fact we're not actually really practicing our, you know, listening skills. You know, when you're, when you're listening just enough to reply, you're not actually listening, okay? So I'd invite you within your next conversation to really pay attention to the conversation, really listen and be active in your active listening skills. And don't just listen to make, um, to put together some kind of response in your mind. In fact, don't put together a response at all and let it be organic at the end of the, you know, as you've listened to the other individual speak and allow. And as you do that, I promise you that natural ways to reply and respond will come to you because you've listened actively and you've given them the respect and the energy they deserve to express themselves. So try that today, all right? What could you do to improve your communication style? So I just gave you an example, active listening and not just listening to respond. And when you lead by example, how can you help those around you to improve theirs, all right? So this is a really good opportunity for those of you, this intuitive story that I'm getting in the workplace with the gossip. If you lead by example on how you handle the situation, people are going to take note of that. People are going to want to be more like you and how you handled it. You will be praised for handling it not only professionally, but respectfully, and you kept your integrity while doing so. So again, people are watching how you're going to respond and react and um, reply to this difficult situation at work involving lots of gossip and lots of throwing people under the bus, okay? And lots of he said, she said type of business. Take the integrity, take the high road, okay? And just watch as others follow your lead. Okay, and, and the issue will be resolved as well, all right? And that may involve some people leaving, you know, that certain job space. Um, this might actually bring to light some of those individuals that are sabotaging others, okay? So stay in your integrity, even if maybe your feelings were hurt. You're so powerful when you come from being respectful and full of facts, okay? What a wonderful message for us today, and certainly for the fire sign specifically. I hope this helps you as you move through your day. I hope you can take bits and pieces that resonate and apply it to your life. Thank you for your likes, your comments, certainly your subscribes. I now have a little button that should show up in the corner of each and every video to make it easier for people to subscribe so that I can help you and help those that find my channel. Have a wonderful day. Put your best foot forward. Stay in your integrity. Be the best human you can be. And join me tomorrow for another Collective Energy reading. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.